so why didn't we move to Maryland? So this video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be basically us explaining why we didn't move to Maryland. I'll keep it short and basically say that we both had a change of heart. As we left here, we were very excited, but about halfway through, we all of a sudden started to have some mixed feelings and by the time we got up there, it, for other reasons that we don't really want to explain on on video and we just want to keep to ourselves, we felt that uh, it was not the right move for us. We felt that it just wasn't the right decision to be made. The interesting thing is that we, me and Cameron were both in agreement the entire time from the second we left, from the second that we started feeling mixed feelings, and then by the time we got up there, we still were both in agreement that this just wasn't the right thing to do. Regardless, let's look at some of the video we took on the way up there. Okay, so it's currently 3.45. I've been up for about 15 minutes. Cameron's been up for about an hour and a half. She's been getting ready. I grabbed some uh, cup of uh, Morning Joe here. We're trying to leave out by five o'clock, so have about another hour. We got a few more things just, just to get in the car before we leave. Our goal is to be there around three o'clock. The movers are showing up around four to five, so that gives us about an hour just to get off some small stuff. That way we can get to the bigger stuff. That's what we really need help with. Also gotta send this back. These are my textbook from the, um, these are my textbooks from last semester. There's about four of them in here. They're due back today. I've waited for the last day and we have to get this shipped out. So we're gonna to try to find a UPS store sometime. Getting some morning breakfast here with Chloe. You about ready for the trip? She's never been up this early, but I don't think she minds. We got mom's car packed down. We tried everything we could to fold that cage and we could yeah. not figure it out. We have no idea. What is wrong with that thing? Anyway, so this is actually our new plant. We named it Linda. And it's an indoor plant. I have no idea what type of plant it is. But if you know, let us know in the comments. Literally just so much crap that we're trying to pack right now. Just a last minute thing to hit this five o'clock window. And hopefully we can get this. I think we can. 423 right now and we're trying to get the last couple things in here so I locked the U-Haul great so I forgot to charge the battery of this so it might be a, a slight cut right here but got to charge the battery all right so I think that's it if there's anything else we'll just have to get it later here we go oh shoot the food bowl do we really need a dog I'm kidding. It's gonna have to go on the U-Haul and okay. the floorboard. I mean, there's no okay, other. There's... I already have Layla and that plant in the floorboard. I this is 446, June 26, 2020. My heart rate's 85. Uh, that cannot be right. It's gotta be like 120. Going through a tunnel. And what's the thing to do in Kentucky and Tennessee when you go through a tunnel? Here we go. There's a couple people honking back. All right, so we're stopped here at a gas station. We are about an hour into the trip, and uh, Chloe is a little scared. But she's making it. She's been she's been sitting in my lap the entire time. So also got some coffee. So it's currently, I guess, a quarter till nine. So we've been driving about, I guess, four and a half hours almost. I've not had much sleep, even though I've been running on two hours of sleep since like. 7.30 yesterday morning. It's not been bad. We just stopped for a second stop about 10 minutes ago. We had to fill the U-Haul up with some gas and we had another bathroom break. 
I didn't get more coffee because I've drunk so much coffee. I feel like I'm gonna get sick. I'm not a I'm not a very experienced driver with long distance. I think the farthest I've ever drove at a time is about three to four hours. So I'm like at my limit right now. Um, but I still feel comfortable and going along. It's not bad. There's not much traffic, so I'm okay. Um, the more we get into the city part, though, I'm probably going to pull over and let Tyler drive because he's uh, better at driving in a lot of traffic where I'm not familiar with. We've stopped at a Kroger to get some gas. It's kind of hard to hear in the truck, so I've been doing, hopefully, I'll be doing most of the recording kind of in between stops. Chloe's having a hard time using the bathroom. I think she's not used to the place. Come on, Chloe, go potty. Go potty. Hey, come back this way. You got tangled up here. There you go. You're getting tangled again. Come here. Hey, don't eat that. Couldn't have asked for Chloe to be doing much better. She's been She's been sleeping the whole way. She's doing absolutely incredible. She's not eating out of her food bowl. We're having to just feed her the food. Having to just feed her the food just out of, just by hand. Still sleeping the whole way. So we're stopping for more gas. This will be the second time we've filled up on gas. Chloe's still doing good. We're letting her use the bathroom. Uh, we're using the bathroom. Got about another 180 miles to go. Estimated to get there around 3.05 and that's without this stop right here. So probably gonna be around 3.20 or 3.30. So dad, for some of this ride, he has been riding with this plant. This is our plant, our indoor plant, Linda. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You did not. You didn't. <laughs> oh, you're pulling the... She's up now. Time to make a pit stop. Got some, brewing some coffee here. Some fresh, ready. As you can imagine, that was a lot of pressure to make that decision. That was not an easy decision. We believe it was the right decision. We felt that it had to be made, and that's kind of, that's kind of it.